If you're over 18 and have a hard time losing weight then you should take a look at this video. There is a hormone diet that can help. An overweight sales manager has used it to lose 103 pounds over 12 weeks without starving himself. He lost 23 pounds by the end of the first two weeks without exercising. In fact, he committed 34 pounds in 29 days following the same hormone signaling method. The best part is that you can have these tasty foods that reset your fat-burning hormones and increase metabolism. Check it out for yourself. A lot more people may be overweight simply because of a hormonal imbalance according to the Hormone Diet Book by the popular natural health author Natasha Turner. In her book she clearly explains how imbalances in certain hormones can cause you to gain weight, become sluggish and stressed out crave sugary foods or even have a low libido. Her solution is to totally revamp your lifestyle which includes cutting back on stress, giving up alcohol and adopting one of three different diets, either low-carb, Mediterranean or vegan. But instead of losing single pounds what you'll find is that you're going to feel happier, more energetic and healthier overall. Turner developed a diet that she calls Glycemed which is made up of foods low on the glycemic index, which tend to raise blood sugar slowly while also following a traditional Mediterranean diet. Foods you can eat include lean protein foods like eggs, chicken breasts, and fresh fish, flax seeds, chia seeds, and most nuts, most fruits and vegetables, whole grains like brown rice, buckwheat, and quinoa, and unsaturated oils like olive oil and fats like canola oil. Eating should be done often throughout the day every 3 to 4 hours and you'll want to make healthy food choices the majority of the time, which should be greater than 80% of the time. This includes making sure that at least 4 out of 7 days a week you don't eat within 3 hours before bedtime along with 1 to 2 cheat meals per week that are okay if eaten in moderation. 2 weeks before you start, you need to stop drinking alcohol and caffeine. Eliminate the dairy products in your diet, and reduce your sugar intake. You may want to consider purchasing a pH meter because it's important to keep tabs on your body's pH balance when you're going through this process. Also, don't forget to combine it with a home ketone tester. If you feel like an expert on health matters, then Turner recommends taking some extra tests including lab tests, blood, urine or saliva, so that way you can track how healthy your body is getting. And make sure that you take supplements especially the multivitamins since they contain all the essential vitamins in one daily dose together with lots of other nutrients. Oh, and make sure that there is some calcium in those pills. If you've become used to consuming prepackaged meals and snacks, eliminating them from your diet may seem like a big adjustment as the hormone diet focuses on whole foods that you cook yourself. Even things like caffeine might be hard to give up like coffee or soda, especially if it's what you drink every single day. The plan strives to include foods that have been grown organically as much as possible. However, due to the limited cooking facilities on board, eaters will find that very few of the recipes are sufficient enough to be fully cooked. Turner also recommends certain supplements which he believes can help passengers build up their immune system and improve brain function but advises that they remain vigilant in taking them because medical aid is not always readily available in case of an emergency. The diet lists out protein sources that will work for vegetarians and vegans. The diet includes protein sources that would work for you. If you're gluten-free, you go on this diet for the first two weeks of January. After that, you aren't entirely forbidden from eating gluten but we'd recommend steering clear of some processed carbohydrates, like bread made with white flour and white rice. These are the sorts of processed carbs she advises readers to avoid during detoxing because many people experience reactions to them during a detox. Following the hormone diet is a sensible approach to healthy eating and weight loss that could benefit most people. It's a low glycemic way of eating that will improve metabolic health. There are many conditions related to obesity, 
such as diabetes, hypertension, and heart disease which can be remedied by adopting this type of diet. Research suggests that if you have these ailments, following this kind of diet will help you lose weight since it is low in calories and healthier than most other diets out there today. However promising that it can balance hormones, cure a whole host of problems and diseases or restore sleep among other promises isn't proven at all by the research. If a diet sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Some diets promote quick weight loss without the need to change your lifestyle or eating habits. Instead, they emphasize applying special pill formulas, complex supplements, or herbal preparations in your diet. These claims are flashy and appealing, but that doesn't make them any less false. That's why it's important to operate with some skepticism and be on the lookout for red flags that indicate an advertised product may not be all it's cracked up to be. The success of the hormone diet comes from an incredibly balanced diet in combination with its internal cleansing elements. This means that you don't have to worry about starving yourself or being hungry at all during the 10 days. In any case, following a low glycemic diet, Mediterranean style, will help develop healthy eating habits and induce weight loss that is likely to benefit most people. The idea that a particular mix of food supplements can hormone balance is a myth lacking in evidence. Don't forget that multiple factors affect hormone levels. It's not just about what you eat. If you really want to start a low-calorie diet, this particular diet plan can serve as a template but only if you also add in a daily multivitamin containing all essential minerals as well as make physical activity part of your daily routine to stay on track with meeting your goals.